You're going to start with all of the primary colors, so red, blue, and yellow. And you'll also see that you'll have some white, and we'll be using that later. You'll also notice that there are a variety of paintbrushes for you to use. So there are larger ones and smaller ones. Some students like to use a smaller paintbrush for more details, and other students like the larger paintbrush. And then you'll also have a palette where you can mix all of your paint colors and some water. Now each of you will get an interactive color worksheet. And the first thing is to write your name at the top so we know whose is whose. Next, you're going to just start with the primary colors. So this is the, the easy part. So I'm just going to paint in the blue spot. It's just kind of a small rectangle. And then I'm going to paint in my red and my yellow. Now it's really important that you rinse off your paintbrush before dipping your brush into another paint color. So you'll see I'm rinsing off my brush every time I get a new color. That way I don't mess up all the paint colors. So I have my primary colors all set. And now I'm going to start by mixing a secondary color. So the secondary colors are orange, purple, and green. So I'm going to mix an orange. Always rinse your brush. And then I need to grab some red. So red and yellow make orange. Make sure that you dab any excess water off of your brush to keep your paint from getting really runny and drippy. So there's a little bit of my red. I'm going to start mixing it in. And you'll notice that I actually mix a little too much red in. Red is a pretty powerful color and it kind of takes over the yellow sometimes. So mine is more of a red orange at this point. So I need to mix a little more yellow to make that orange. So I rinse my brush to grab some more yellow with my paintbrush. And you'll see it'll start looking more like a regular orange. And that's the color that I'm looking for. And then I'll paint in the orange section on the paper. Now instead of making green and violet or purple, um, I'm going to keep working with the orange colors. So I still need a, a yellow orange and a red orange. So I'll be doing that next. Just because I already have my orange mixed and ready to go so it'll save some time. So now I'm going to mix in some red to make red orange. So I'm mixing the red with the orange to make a red orange. And then I'll mix some yellow with my orange to make a yellow orange. Kind of the color of macaroni and cheese. Next, I'm going to mix my next secondary color. So I'm going to do green. I made a pretty good green right off the bat. I'll paint in my green section. And then I'll need to do my yellow green and my blue green. So for yellow green, I just mix in the yellow with some green. It makes a really nice yellow green or lime green. And then for blue green, I'll mix in some blue. Now the blue green is kind of tricky because um, a lot of times it's a little too dark, so sometimes you might need to add just a tiny little bit of white. Just a tiny, tiny little bit, and you can add that to your blue-green, and it'll turn it into a really nice blue-green color, nice uh, turquoise or teal color. Our blue is just a little dark, so um, it's nice to add a little bit of white and make it a little bit brighter. The same thing We'll go for our violet or purple color. Sometimes it helps to add a little white for that, and you'll see that in just a second. So now I'm going to mix my violet or purple, and you'll see this is what my purple looks like. Um, it looks kind of dark, not quite purpley enough. It's really a dark purple. It's hard to see. So in order to make it a better purple, I'm going to add just a tiny bit of white, and you'll see it change into a really nice purple. And this is the secret to getting a really, really nice purple and blue-green. So 
So I'll paint in my purple. And then I need my red violet and my blue violet. So I'll need to mix a little red with that color. So I'm mixing red with the violet I already made. And then mixing some blue with the violet I already made. And if you ever need more white, you can always just go ahead and add a little more white. Just make sure to rinse your brush. Don't turn that white into a totally different color. And then you'll put it on the drying rack to dry. And now it is clean up. So before you leave, you need to make sure that you clean and dry your palette. So you can use a sponge to make sure you get all the paint off. And then you want to make sure that you wipe it off with a paper towel so it's dry for the next student to use. Next, you're going to dump any dirty water and wash your brushes. So rinse out the cup a couple times and put some new water into that cup. So fresh, clean water for the next student to use. And then rinse your brushes. Make sure there's no paint stuck in those brushes, that they're nice and clean. And then you can put those brushes back in the cup for the next person to use. Interactive Color Wheel Part 2. first step is to cut along the dashed lines. So any dashed line that you see, you are going to eventually cut. So I start by cutting out around the outside edge of all of my colors. Now you'll want to make sure that you do this when your paint is dry. So you don't want to do it when you have wet paint because the paint can get all over the place and you start cutting. And then you'll throw away any of those scraps and then keep cutting along all of those dotted lines. Eventually you're going to cut out the 12 colors. So you'll have 12 different pieces. Make sure you keep an eye on them so they don't uh, get lost or if somebody accidentally takes one of yours. Make sure you have 12. And then the next step is to find the little dashed uh, circle outline and hole punch each of those on each card. So it should be in the same place. Make sure to line it up. So you'll hole punch all 12 cards. And this is how we're going to connect all of them with a brass brad. And now you'll need to arrange the colors into a rainbow starting with red. So you can just put them into a line Arrange them how you think it should go. And so start with red, and then you're going to layer all of the different color pieces together, starting with red. And double check that you have all 12, that you have all of the correct colors. If you think you've lost one, you can go back through and check the color wheel to see if you um, have lost a certain color. and you should end with red violet. Now you'll take your brass brad and stick it in through the top of all the holes. So hopefully the holes all match up. If they don't, you can always just kind of move it around a little bit. So it's through all of those and then you can flip it to the back and make sure that you open up that brass brad so they'll all stay together in place. And next, you'll need to write your name on the back because our name is no longer on our handout. We need to write it on the back in order to get credit for it. And now you can kind of play around with it and see how it works. It might feel kind of stiff at first and kind of awkward, but the more you use it, the more it'll become easier to use. So you can arrange it into a traditional color wheel shape, so in a circle. And you can also arrange it by different color schemes, so colors that you think look good together. This will be really useful for our next project where you have to choose a color scheme. And you are all finished.